All right, everybody, I'm going to show you in this session how to smooth out some terrain and make it look a little bit more realistic. If you look at certain sections around our model, you'll see that uh, we've got roads and uh, certain parts of our surfaces that look a little rough due to our finished ground that we exported out. That's not going to be a problem for us because what we're going to do is we're going to create some additional coverage areas and smooth those out. Uh, and flatten those to make them look a little bit more realistic. So I've got a few of those spots that I need to work on um, based on uh, the different locations. But uh, what I'm going to do first now is uh, take a look at some of my different tools that I have at my disposal for creating these custom coverage areas. I'm going to click my InfoWorks button first and then I'm going to use the Create Conceptual Design uh, pencil here and once I click that, it brings up a whole list of different uh, features that I can manually draw myself. So any of these features here you can draw manually yourself. Uh, in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom coverage area that overlaps this section here. And then I'm going to smooth it out to make it look like a nice uh, smooth transition from one intersection uh, throughout that entire intersection. In my case... I'm looking for uh, coverage areas. So I'm going to add a coverage area. I'm going to click it. It brings up a list of styles that I can uh, reference for this new coverage area. I don't really care about the style right now. I'm going to add in my own custom style later. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, use my cursor and pick some vertices along the edge here and uh, try to overlap the problem areas best I can. And the more vertices I add, the more realistic it'll look. So I'm just going to tie that in. And once I've got that area kind of patched up, I'm going to double click my left mouse button and that will end the sketch. And then what I can do is if I hit the escape button, that will take me out of the uh, draw mode. So you'll see here that uh, if I hit escape, it'll deselect my option. And uh, if I right click, I'm currently in an edit mode. So I can edit the exit mode or sorry, exit the edit mode. I can stay in there if I want, but if I select my coverage area, uh, it shows me vertices. I don't want those. I want to shape my terrain, so I'm just going to right click and select the shape terrain button. And uh, what you'll see if I turn my my uh, model into a more perspective view, you'll see that there's a uh, a little blue arrow. And what that does is if I left click on it. I can raise up my surface and lower it down slightly. But what I want to do is I just want to kind of raise it up and, you know, just barely even a hair. And then I'm going to let it go. And what you'll see is it'll flatten that out and tie it to the surface. Okay. So it looks a little bit more realistic now uh, from that point of view. And, and uh, what I'll want to do after that, I'll edit the ex or sorry, exit the edit mode and apply my own style. So in this case, I can just go uh, into my style palette and if you don't have your style palette up you can go into your create and manage your model button and uh, your style palette uh, will be listed here on the list so click that that'll bring up your style palette and you can supply uh, a different coverage area if you like or uh, material might be a little bit more realistic try to match it to the same material that you applied to your road so uh, once you drag that in there, it should look like one smooth transition. So I'll want to do that for the rest of my roads, but uh, in this case, that one looks pretty good uh, from this point of view. Thank you.